Parking is something we all eventually have to face when driving in New Orleans. Last year, the city extended parking meters and raised their prices for parking in areas such as the French Quarter. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I think that so many people are working in the French Quarter and that is such a part, of, especially like industry. So there's so many bartenders in the French Quarter just being like completely fleeced for all of their money for parking that they didn't even really need to raise in the first place. The meters raked in over double the amount they originally were making over a year ago at almost $9 million just in the month of August. But the people that were financially affected weren't French Quarter residents or tourists, but the people that worked in the service industry. People that work in the service industry are expected to park downtown, but now people are parking outside of the French Quarter on some days just to get to work. I crunch the numbers and it's just easier to park a mile away and walk in so you don't have to spend $20 to go to work. People like Michael know the city needs money, but doesn't agree at how the city is going about bringing in the revenue. Well, it's beneficial for the city in that, you know, you can boost revenue by, you know, you, taking every free spot off the street and having people, citizens, pretty much pay money to, for the luxury of parking in their own city. And then there's the revenue from all the tickets that you, you gather. Um, but it's definitely not convenient for the workforce. The city currently has no plan to address the service industry's workers' problems, but until then, the parking meters are here to stay. I'm Nick Ducote, reporting for Loyola's News Service.